We just beat Clock Tower for the Super Nintendo, but there was like the uh, PS1 version with an English patch. Now we're going to play the first Clock Tower, Clock Tower game to reach the West for PS1. And I love this game. I played this game a lot. I, I owned it um, when it first came out in the 90s. My wife's going to help me. Yes, I'm going to look up some probably more than one guide. Yeah, this game's really, really complicated, and I don't feel like running around lost forever. So she's going <laughs> to help us out a little bit and refresh my memory. We beat it about a year ago. We don't have the recording anymore, so I wanted to redo it. And I want to play all the clock towers with her. Definitely. As much as they're frustrating and we both get a little annoyed, we both enjoy it. Okay, um, we really do, yeah. So in this one, just so that you know, um, X is the examine button okay. and square is panic. So it's the okay. opposite, <laughs> opposite of, what it was. of what it was in the last one. Okay. <laughs> That's good to know. I think I need to turn it up a little bit. This the game's kind of quiet. There we go. Professor Bart. Professor Bart. Professor Bart. What on earth are you doing, Professor? You mustn't hypnotize her like this. She's not ready to remember the murders yet. Helen, the clock tower murders are fascinating research material for me. Yes. I must know the truth of what happened. Okay. From the rail. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking her home. You're going to have to pause, right. babe. I will, one second. But remember one thing, Helen. Layer, but it still oh, hurts. You may be her it's guardian, okay. it's not that bad. It's just but not you that are bad. also my assistant. It hurts a little bit. Yes, Professor. You're going to have to have that pulled out. One second. Okay. We're good. Okay, so we're playing Professor Barton. I think you look at the uh, at this thing, right? I press the X on it. A giant pair of scissors is on there. The, they are a replica of the scissors used by the murderer in the clock tower case. Yeah. These are like the weapon he used to slash up his victims. Creepy. Okay, now examine the psychiatrist couch. It seems a little, a little bit easier to control than the Super Nintendo version so Oh, far. good. <laughs> the clock tower murders. The mass murder of over 10 victims in this case. How intriguing. Jennifer Simpson. Only one of the survivors. I have to go get... It, it goes so fast. They're <laughs> <laughs> it's like it doesn't let you press the button on them. It just like goes to the next line. my lab. Lately I've been doing mostly criminal psychology research. Hmm, <laughs> the staff is still here. Now, what you do here is important to the story, so you tell yes. me what to do and I'll do it. Okay, look at that demon statue, the purple one that was on his desk. Yeah. Right there. And that's the same one we had in the first one. A statue it is cold. One of the items found at the scene of the clock tower murders. That is so cool. I'm kind of glad we played the yeah. first one. Yeah. That would be a good idea to get an expert opinion on this. Okay, talk to Beth three times. Professor Helen left a few minutes ago and she looked really angry. Huh. You know, Helen and Jennifer are really beginning to look like sisters, aren't they? I guess that's what happens when you live together. <laughs> One mustn't let their personal feelings get in the um, way. Yeah. Jennifer is nothing more than another research subject. Yikes. Uh, yes, you're right. I wish I had a cute kid sister. A cute kid brother would be okay, too. Okay, so she's done. Okay. Uh, examine the mask.
Scissor Men's Rubber Mask. A kind, sold in cheap novelty shops, and seems to be fairly popular. People certainly buy stupid things. <laughs> Examine that furthest back computer. Harris's desk. Clipped out articles of the clock tower story are scattered about. It seems Harris has gone somewhere. Hey, now talk to Danny the Blonde. Three times. Professor, a newspaper reporter is here. Did you have an appointment for an interview? It's about the clock tower murders, isn't it? Hmm. I guess they want to sensationalize this scissor man who really doesn't even exist. <laughs> Scissor man, it'd be cool if he were real. Huh? Uh, it's just a joke. Whoa. <laughs> you shouldn't keep the reporter waiting too long. Alright, I guess we're done here. Yep, go out the door. Out the door. Depending on what you do here is, is determines the main character of the game, right? Yes. Or I'm guessing we're going for Jennifer. Uh, yes. Like the first game? Yeah. Okay. Not talk to him or talk to him. A professor, a newspaper reporter was looking for you on the first floor. Oh, thank you. Should we have not talking to him? Uh, no, it's good. Talk to him three times so you can be Jennifer. Um, is Jennifer... She's already gone home. Was there something you wanted to see her about? Uh, no. He's always so gloomy. He's top-notch, though. That's for sure. But then... Um, is Jennifer... Okay, yeah, so we're good. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, to the right. I have to listen to him for a second. Okay, going right. Elevator button. Nope. There we go. Don't you like these glorious PS1 graphics? Hey, it's an upgrade from the one we just played. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> First floor. Hey, you can beat this game relatively pretty quick. Oh, Professor. I am the one who called you from the Oslo Weekly News. My name is Nolan Campbell. And this is Tim, my cameraman. It's a pleasure. I'm a bit bu busy. Please keep it brief. <laughs> Bless you. Bless me. Then I'll get right to the point. Have you been able to figure out who the murderer is? I can't say anything for sure yet because the victim's testimony lacks credibility. Oh, do you mean the victim that was testifying? That'd be Jennifer Simpson, wouldn't it? Yes. What about her? Uh, nothing really. It's just that we saw her leaving a few minutes ago. And since we had run into her, we asked her for an interview, but she refused. See, I was expecting the first one to have as much story as this one, but the first one was kind it of... It didn't. Didn't yeah. really have much story. Uh-uh. You just said her testimony lacked credibility? I know what you're going to say. That monster she was talking about, the scissor man... And whether he really exists or not. That's it. That's right. That is what our readers want to know. Because the existence of the scissor man has become a symbol of terror among youngsters. Yes, and that's because trashy gossip magazines like yours have sensationalized the whole thing. Ouch, that hurts. <laughs> Not much I can say to that, is there? Well, let's start from the conclusion. It's a fact that there was a murderer who used a giant pair of scissors as his murder weapon. But that doesn't make him into an immortal monster. We're just dealing with some odd screwball. <laughs> but what about what she said? She was scared. She thought she saw something. Oh, I see, but... Okay, that's it. Interview's over. There's something I must be attending to. 
Ah, well, okay. I understand. Thank you very much. Sorry I couldn't be as much help as you had hoped. All right, prologue's over. I have to get back to the lab. I'm expecting another survivor of the clock tower murders. Oh, it's Jennifer. He is supposed to be... Oh, it's the young boy. He's supposed to be a young boy about 10 years old. The boy, the boy hey. we pushed over uh, survived? The scissor man? Well, apparently he's immortal. Oh. But I guess the so. 10 year old boy, I guess, would be Lot. Uh, when, I guess we never saw, saw that ending or something. Yeah, right? second floor. I wonder if Clock Tower yeah. 3 is even related. I don't know. I know Capcom made that one. Enter the first door past the toilets. Yeah, don't worry. There's a lot. It's a lot less confusing than the Super Nintendo version. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> the mansion's kind of confusing, but nothing like the Super Nintendo version. Talk to Harris. Professor, the boy that survived the clock tower. Murders is here. I heard they're remaking the first one, actually. I heard. Oh, oh really? Has he arrived yet? Already? Yes, he's waiting in the therapy room. Yeah, I heard they're making it. I'm not sure if it's out yet. We'll have to definitely play it. Yeah, remastered. There's still something I need to do here. Oh, crap. Me. It will be out in 24. Nice. Sure. We'll have to play it. Definitely. Uh, yeah, today's okay. 1 1 24 now. Uh, examine the purple statue again. Oh, we have to ask him to take it. Oh, that's right. I still need to get an expert opinion on this statue. I should probably ask Professor Sullivan, the head librarian at the Metropolitan Library. Yes, but there was that old butler at the Barrow's mansion named Rick. We went to the house last time. Yeah, so say no. I'll show it to him first to see if he knows anything. So should we say no? It doesn't really matter. Say no, because we saw the house last time. I want to see the library. I could ask Harris to show it to him. No. No. What's up with the cowboy font? <laughs> All right, then. I'll have Professor Sullivan at the Metropolitan Library take a, uh, a look. Okay, that's that. I should probably go to the therapy room. All right. Something new. Therapy room. There's like three or maybe four acts of the game, and they're all pretty short. Oh my god, his outfit. <laughs> like little French boy. <laughs> School boy. Thank you very much for coming. How do you do? I'm an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. I am Edward's guardian. Edward? I thought he completely lost all his memory. From the shock. Does he remember his name? No, I call him Edward because not having a name... To go by makes things very difficult. I bet he really is a lot. Just change his name. I bet he is. Well, he said he didn't remember anything. Yeah. Now, since this is our first day, will you answer some simple questions for me? Okay, Edward. Now, I want you to honestly tell me everything you remember about what happened. Uh, yes. Well, then, let's get started. I love old games. <laughs> they had so much soul. They did. Helen isn't home yet. I think I will go out for a while. Where shall I go? Okay. Uh, I gotta scroll down because it's giving us Helen's walkthrough first. So let me get down to Jennifer. I forgot where to go. Let's see. You go to the university, staff housing, library, hotel, the weekly newspaper. There 
There it is. Okay, you will play as Jennifer. Go to the University Research Building. Uh, there we go. I will go see Helen. She should still be in our lab. Oh, hello, Jennifer. What's up? Oh, nothing much. I just came for a little visit. Oh, really? I'm going to be a bit late tonight. You go ahead and eat without me. Are you busy? My hard drive crashed and I lost all my data. Ouch. Oh. I've got to get it restored tonight. Oh, I see. Please leave the key in its usual place. Okay, I will. Good luck, Helen. The Norway International Hotel. Oh, that's right. Edward is supposed to be here. I wonder what kind of boy he is. A bad boy? <laughs> <laughs> is the boy Edward? Are you by chance Jennifer? Yes, I am Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. I recognize your face from all the um, pictures in the paper. My name is Kay. I'm an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. The Granite Orphanage? Wasn't she from the orphanage also? Yes, Jennifer I, was, yeah. Yeah, but I began after you left. That's right. Is he... Yes, he is Edward. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello, Edward. Uh, hello. Hello, Edward. How do you do? Jennifer, Edward has lost his memory from the shock of what happened. Yes, I've heard. You were also involved, weren't you? Speaking with you might jog his memory. I was hoping you would be able to come visit Edward. Please. Yes, that would be fine. I will come as often as I can. Well, I must be going. Our faces looks a little funny, doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit. See you again soon, Edward. Bye-bye. Edward love, looks a little funny, too. Yeah, I love your, I love your shorts, Edward. <laughs> Staff housing? Uh, yes. Huh? Someone's in front of the house. Oh, that's... I think the shit's about to hit the fan. The first encounter with Scissor Man. Not quite yet. Oh. <laughs> You're the reporter that came to the university yesterday, aren't you? Oh, please call me Nolan. I have been collecting information on the clock tower case for a long time now. Even though it is a, ver a really big case, very little of the truth is understood. As a reporter, I simply can't leave it alone. Yes, the truth. <laughs> and I'm interested in you too. I think Jennifer's a little special. <laughs> hey, what do you say to having dinner with me? I, I don't care what you tell me. I just want you to talk. Yes, talk. Yes, talk. <laughs> yes, have some. <laughs> <laughs> yes, have some. Oh, well. Um... That's it. Both. Yes, both. An interview and a date. All right, then. Tee hee. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. First scenario, baby. Here comes the scissor man. It's very late. Someone seems to be following me. Uh. She has very loud footsteps. Yes, she does.
What's wrong? Help! Someone is following me! Hmm, some kind of weirdo? <laughs> <laughs> some kind of weirdo? <laughs> oh no, I just got stabbed by a scissor man! <laughs> Some kind of weirdo. <laughs> it's I'm bleeding all over. Okay, men's toilets. Uh, run right until you reach the bathroom. Hide in the toity. In the toity. That's what I always do. Is always hide in the toity. Uh, go into the stall. Oh, why wouldn't I? Would not do that. I said that. Funny. <laughs> all right, let's go in the stall. Relieve ourselves. Doo -doo -doo. When I first played this game, I had no clue what the hell I was expecting. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? I can't defend myself? I can't shoot the bastard? Okay. I'm gonna take a PP. <laughs> There's blood in her hands. Probably from the security guard. I don't think he touched her. Maybe it splattered on him. Oh, wow. He really got scissored. He really did. Okay. <laughs> go to the left. And go to the second door. Should be the storage room. Uh, some kind of weirdo? <laughs> some kind of weirdo? <laughs> oh, bull crap, man. Exit the room. And the shit. <laughs> Go left, hide, being, in a, hide in a locker. I'm being chased by some kind of weirdo. Left, left, left. That's not left. Oh, you can hide in the bathroom again. Oh, okay. That's a thank you, friend. I'm being chased by a weirdo. Help me. <laughs> His big weirdo scissors. I think I'll finally figure out my bathroom hiding trick. <laughs> I guess not. He's more of a troll in this one, but I, I kind of like that. There's less confusing puzzles and more Scissor Man. Okay. All right, we'll try again. I think it's like a dice roll when you see him again, though. So it's, it's like, it's kind of random. Not as random as the first one. I think the puzzles are always the same this time around. Oh, that's good. There's an oil can on the shelf. On the shelf. That might be over here. This might be useful. <laughs> Nothing useful. Oh, you wait. This could be useful. <laughs> <laughs> you have oil can. Okay. Exit the room. You thought I was just joking when I said I always Go hide in the right. bathroom. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, go right. Past the stairs. Past the elevator. In that door. Now, this is the office. The security guard office. Yes, it is. I remember. Should I click on him? Yeah. I know it's bad things are, are about to happen, though. Excuse me. <laughs> His head fell oh. off. What kind of weirdo did that? Ew. Okay. Um, pick up the ladder key on the table that the guard was leaning on. We have to hurry because scissor man may come. And leave the room quickly after you yeah, pick that up. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. You can, like, set off an alarm in that room and oh, all yeah. kinds of useless oh. stuff. And if you hang around too long, here comes you-know-who. Right? The weirdo. <laughs> Some kind of weirdo. Elevator. <laughs> Some kind of weirdo. <laughs> nah, he's gonna be in here, huh? Yep. Uh-oh. Yep. I, I saw that coming. In the room, sweetheart. They got rid of the whole uh, panic icon down there where you get exhausted. Too. You, you notice that? Yeah. You can just play Ring Around the Rosie? Yep. Is 
<laughs> Ring and run the Rosie. Don't know if she, what, what floor are we going? Second floor. That's interesting. If you use that elevator too much, it'll break down. Like the really? like the doorknob in Resident Evil. Oh, that's not good. That's funny. <laughs> that's cool. That <laughs> is cool. Yeah, that button never is not programmed. It's not wired up that close door button, so you'd be screwed in that situation. Yep. Go left. Left. That room. Should be an office. It's the office in the first uh, prologue, I think. Yep. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Look at the computer with the orange thing on it. This one? Yeah. Beth's desk. There are stuffed animals and a spray can. A can of mace. Can I get it? Uh, you're not supposed to get the mace. You're supposed to get the office key on that desk somewhere. By oh. her computer. Oh. Was that the wrong one? Well, it says um, her computer is the one with the orange stuffed animal. There's a key. Okay, good. I have office key. Okay, go to the therapy room. If you're, if you're not, I remember like taking too long in here and he pops in and you're dead. Oh. So let's be, let's be careful here. It's open. Yay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, hold on a second. She's. Oh, okay. Freaking out. Okay. What do I do? Look at the desk. I'm scared. And you'll notice that the scissors are missing. A cheap table. Okay, exit. It says Jennifer won't notice, but the player should notice oh. that the scissors are gone. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. The last time I remember hanging around here too long, he came in and killed me. So Ooh, exit. I want to get out of here. But the mask is still there, though. Mm -hmm. But he's wearing a mask. But maybe you got another one from the cheap. From the cheap party store? Not with these stores. Yeah. <laughs> Go to the stairwell and up to the third floor. I think we about finished this part. All right, here we go. Go on the door. Um, Go up again. Oh, the ladder key? Yeah. Yeah, we're pretty much done here, I think. The game's not very long. An emergency ladder? It looks like a fire ladder. It, it's locked, so I guess it can be used in, in an emergency either. It can't be. Uh, what do I... Use your ladder key. I think you just hold the button. Oh, you just go up here. Okay, that's cool. Less buttons, the better. That's right. I think if you don't, if you don't get the oil can, you can't beat the game. Really? Right. Is that right? Like you don't uh, get a good I don't ending. Know. <laughs> like it's it's critical or something. Huh. I like the noise. <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah, our kids are fighting in there. They didn't go back to school. It's been a long Christmas break. <clears throat> Nora's freaking out. Yes. Scenario one cleared. I like the dripping blood effect on the now loading. Mm -hmm. What in the poop is going on? We haven't even solved the last case yet. And now another mass murder. And again, you're saying that the murderer is a monster. But it's true. 
I can already see tonight's headlines. Scissor Men is back. Well, whether he exists or not, you should go home now and rest. We posted a policeman outside your house, so you'll be safe. Thank you, Inspector. That's Assistant Inspector. Okay. <laughs> assistant to the Inspector? <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer, Helen, it's true. It was the Scissor Man. I know. I believe you, Jennifer. He is just being stubborn. I heard that, Teach. Anyway, if it is him, we have to figure out some way to destroy him. We can do it. Yes. <laughs> yes, we can. Yes, we can. <laughs> Go to the Oslo Weekly Newspaper Company. Roger that. I wonder what Nolan's doing. This man is the cameraman who was with Nolan. Excuse me, is Nolan here? Hey, you're Jennifer. Yes, I am. Is Nolan here? Nolan, he just went to look for you. He is worried about you. Oh, is he? He should be back in a bit, but I don't think you should be, wait be waiting here. Why not? Well, you're hot stuff again, and... If the other reporters find you, they'll ask you questions till the cows come home. I suppose you're right. I'll come back later then. I'll leave the back door open for you. So <laughs> <laughs> try not to, to be seen when they come in. Thank you. All right. Where to? All right, next is the Norway International Hotel. Uh, there it is. I wonder if Edward and Kay were attacked by Scissor Man. No, he is Scissor Man. <laughs> I know there's no one here. So that was that. <laughs> University Research Building. I wonder if Helen is here. Oh, hi, Jennifer. You came just in time. I was just on my way out. Where are you going? Do you remember that statue? The one they found at the scene of the clock tower murder? Yes, what about it? I can't find it anywhere. Professor Barton had it. Huh. And Professor Barton was called away on some police business. Do you have any idea where it might be? Yes, I found some telephone numbers on the professor's desk. One for the library and one for a man named Rick. I think he must have taken it to one of them. He did mention to me that he would like to get an expert opinion of the statue. I don't know who this Rick person is, though. I see. There's so many awkward pauses because the game oh, just know. doesn't it has it show it all scroll faster. Yeah. yeah. Anyway... I'll go to the library and see Mr. Sullivan. If the statue's there, I've got to get it. I want anything and everything relating to Scissor Man. Yes. Helen, I'll find out who the right person is. Maybe no one knows something about him. Jennifer? Yes? Who is no one? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, well, I better run along now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's my new boy toy. <laughs> the Oslo Week newspaper. I hope no one is there. <laughs> Jennifer, are you all right? 
Yes, thank you. The police didn't want to tell me much, so I had a hard time finding you. Is there anything I can do? Actually, yes, there is. Do you know a man named Rick? I think he is involved in the clock tower case. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to interview him. Really? He used to be a butler for the Burroughs family. I ran into someone who happened to know that. I thought I'd go ask him what he knew about the Burroughs family. What about him? Well, Professor Barton might have given the statue to him. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the one they found at the scene of the murder? Yes, we all know that. Yes, <laughs> I want every little clue relating to this case. Okay, should I get the statue from him? You know, the one found in the scene of the murder? Right. All right, I'll go see him and get it. Well. Say no, because you didn't give it to Rick. We did Sullivan, so say no. no yeah. I say no. I said no. Thank you for offering, but Helen is looking for it right now. Okay, no problem. Whatever. But if you ever do need help, just let me know. Thank you, Nolan. Okay. Scenario two. Edward. Okay, let me scroll down to find Helen. Oh, we're skipping to Helen now? Interesting. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, uh, one second. Excuse me. Is Mr. Sullivan in? Mr. Sullivan, he is in the head librarian's office. I see. Thank you. I'll need your help. I don't remember doing this one at all. Yeah, I'm trying to find it. I'm having to scroll way down. Hold on. Might do a control <laughs> find. That clock is freaking loud. I'd take that battery out. Yep, I need to. Okay, Helen. Well, if it isn't Edward, what are you doing here? It's boring at the hotel. Hmm. Is Kay with you? No, she isn't. Oh. Did he bring the scissors? He's repeating himself now. Did someone turn that clock off. Second. Is it that hard to find? The game's not that long. Up in scenario two. Yes. Um, did you already find Edward sitting at a desk reading? Oh, uh -huh, yeah, we're in the hallway. Okay, then head to the left side of the room, go through the door. We're already there, honey. And then go right and through the door next to the stairs, the head librarian's office. I am sure this is Mr. Sullivan's office. I've never done this one before. Cool. Completely new. Talk to him. Hello, Helen. It has been a long time, hasn't it, Mr. Sullivan? I've heard about what happened to you. How terrible. Yes. By the way, Mr. Sullivan. Yes, I have heard. There's something you would like to research. I will give you a key to the reading room, so... You can use the reference materials as you please. The reading room is right next door. Oh, and the statue. Oh, yes, that's it. The one found in the scene of the murder. At Professor, the clock tower. <laughs> <and> Professor Boffin, <laughs> please come pick it up after you're on your way out. Thank you very much, Mr. Sullivan. Okay, go through the um, door you came in. That door's not even... Can't click on that one. Nope, no, 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 no. Here we go. Go through the first door on your left. I figured as much. Now I can enter the reading room. Okay, 
examine the ladder. I just hope there is something here that will explain the scissor man. A stepladder. A stepladder. <laughs> okay. A stepladder. <laughs> <laughs> now examine the books on the left side of the center section. Books relating to England are up there. Uh, look at the stepladder again. A stepladder. <laughs> <laughs> A stepladder. <laughs> Lords of Northern England, this is it. <laughs> Excuse me, but the library will be closing shortly. Oh, I see. There's so many Twilight uh, pauses. Oh, I know. I found a clue about Scissor Man. I still have to pick up the statue. I assume go back to his go office. Go back to his office, yeah. And I guess he's probably going to be scissored. By a weirdo. Strange, the clock is chiming. Oh, Mr. Sullivan. Helen. It seems the bells of the giant clock are broken. I think I will go have a look. Well, I'll go with you. <laughs> Thank you. Please follow me. The clock hasn't been working great. Oh my gosh, it's voice acted. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. This, oh, I saw oh. that coming. Oh. Oh. Damn. That wasn't the scissor man, that was just... That was just <laughs> Pure stupidity. Stupidity. Okay, what the hell exit. is he thinking? <laughs> Why would he do that? Why would he do that? That was like Final Destination shit. <laughs> Down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, don't stick your head up. It's out there, dude. <laughs> like, oh! Where, where to? Go through the door. Uh, Quick. Uh, the, the first one by the stairs. That one. It's like, you have to go a little faster, honey. Sorry. <laughs> a little faster. He is like right on my ass. Click on the lamp. A lamp. On the desk. Should be a lamp. Oh, I got a present for him. I'm going to smack him with the lamp. Oh. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Back even, in the hallway. He even howls like a monster. <laughs> That's creepy. That's Edward's voice. <laughs> Run upstairs. He can't still be here. <laughs> <laughs> Go through the, the room on the left. That's Edward's voice. Is it coming from inside that room? I actually kind of remember his head being chopped off by the clock. So maybe I played it when <laughs> I was a kid. Maybe. I was probably laughing just as much as I was now. <laughs> and what were you thinking, man? Edward. Edward. Square. Panic button. She didn't know the body was gone. Leave the room. Downstairs. Same room before? Nope. Middle door. Do, 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 do. Helen? <laughs> Edward. Helen? Edward. Edward. Step ladder. A For step real. ladder. <laughs> A step ladder. A step ladder. Helen. Edward. Edward. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> Go back to the head librarian's office to the right. I feel like I'm going in circles. I know, right? Running in circles, <laughs> chasing tails. Search the desk. Uh, 
There are envelopes and documents relating to multiple personalities on the desk. The sender of these envelopes is Professor Barton. I really should look inside. <laughs> I wonder if there is anything else. Keep looking. Oh. The key is inside the drawer. You now have the collection room key. All right, door to the left. I am sure the collection room is in the back. Aha. Now I can enter the collection room. So I can collect stuff. <laughs> The collection room is where Mr. Sullivan keeps the artifacts he dug up in Egypt and other places, of which he is very proud. Mr. Sullivan has shown you the mirror many times, but this time it is pitch dark inside. Sorry, say it is super dark. Didn't there used to be an aquarium here? I could use the light from it. Yep, yeah, click on the aquarium first. Oh jeez, it's really, really dark in here. It is really dark. There we go. Thank goodness, the power is on here. Uh, get the statue off the table. The purple one. Got it. The statue is together with the other artifacts. Thank goodness. There it is. You now have the statue. Since I have what I came for, now all I have to do is find a way out. Uh, back in the door you came from. <laughs> find a way out. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try the front door. <laughs> And go from there. Okay, go through the door on your right. Last door on the left. Um, go through the elevator doors. Don't examine that lady. Yeah, bad thing happened to her. Yeah. If you examine her, Scissor Man will come. Uh, I'm trying to go to the... Mm. Maybe you have to, because I don't see an option. Maybe. It doesn't seem possible. There were so many people here a moment ago. Oh, well, there we go. There we go. Nice. Okay, click on that part of the counter that can be raised up, oh, like okay. right there, yeah. Well, so far it's been a lot easier than the Super Nintendo version. Yes. <laughs> Go through the door in the back. It was so random. Puzzled, even the rooms. Even the rooms were random, yeah. A computer for managing the, I hope it, it is networked to the outside. Yeah, it was like, try to find the library, which could be in room 18 or 19 or 25. Like, it could be on the first floor, could be on the second floor. Who knows? <laughs> There's a chair. Someone with a chair back there. Uh, check out the desk at the back left to find Edward. Oh, I thought he is his man. Edward, I thought you'd still be here. Maybe it's not. It's dangerous here. Come with me. Edward, you hide under this table until I call you. Be a good boy, and don't worry, we'll make it. Go to the left. Okay. And there should be a vent to examine. Oh, yeah, I remember seeing that earlier. A vent. It is covered with a wire screen fastened with screws. That's it. Edward could fit through. He's small. If I could just get the screen off. Okay, leave the room. I'm looking for like wire cutters or something. Mm-hmm. Go to the room in the left. Go back to the elevator. <laughs> Lots of repeats. Yeah. Small area, so they make you just explore it a lot. Yeah. yeah. That poor girl just like stuck in yeah, that's, that's the shelves. Sad. Go behind the desk and through the door at the back. 
Someone must have called the police. It's not letting me do anything besides look over here. The door cannot be open from the front. Many policemen are swarming around outside looking for a uh, way in. There are so many people just on the other side of the <laughs> door. <laughs> Door in the back, okay. Because this, the siren's making me go nuts here, so. Yeah, let's, get out let's here. leave this room. Red alert! Okay, the desk drawer furthest to the left should have a screwdriver in it. Hmm. Maybe that one. Furthest from the left. Furthest to the left. That's a copy machine. Yeah, but there's nothing over there the first. <laughs> a primitive copier. There have been budgetary problems. <laughs> <laughs> Just like at the uh, university. Maybe the. Maybe it's the other side. Yeah. There are some f forms and loan cards on the table. This one might be it. I wonder if there's something useful here. A screwdriver. Yay. You have the screwdriver. <laughs> Leave the room. Back to the elevator. If you didn't have a guide, you'd be running around like an idiot. Mm-hmm. Oh, you'd have to hit the desk first. There we go. Go to an elevator. I haven't been attacked in a while. I know. Out the door to your left. Doo -doo -doo. Middle door. Use the screwdriver on the vent. Makes sense. from there and come over here. Edward, you can probably squeeze through here to the outside. Hurry, run away from here. Okay, I will. Oh. <laughs> and for me? Okay, leave the room. Door on the left. Elevator. This one seems longer than this narrow too when you're in the mansion. Oh crap. The cops came in. Hey Teach, what's going on? <laughs> Teach, hang in there. Hang in there. <laughs> That's okay. So she's she's good. She's had a rough day. One more scenario and we beat it. Helen, I wonder if she found the statue. All right. Okay. Okay. Intermission three with Jennifer. Okay. Um. Now go to the university research building. Okie dokie. Jennifer, Scissorman was in the library. Huh? Gots was just questioning me. You aren't hurt, are you? No, I'm alright. 
I was uh, able to get the statue. But more importantly, Jennifer, I found a clue to Scissor Man. What is it? I found out where the Barrows used to live before they immigrated here. They used to live in the Barrows Castle in England. The Barrows Castle? According to historical accounts of the castle, there was some kind of monster born there. It looked like Jabba the <laughs> Hutt. Yeah, we saw that. <laughs> hmm. They must have found some way to destroy the monster back then. So if we go to the Barrows Castle, we might learn how they did it. Right. I can't say we will for sure, but I want to believe we will if we try. Okay, I'll tell the others. Good. Be sure to tell Gots. He'll bug us later if we don't. <laughs> we should also tell Professor Barton. Okay, I'll go then. I, I, in the castle, like, everyone freaking dies. <laughs> Every, it's everyone dies. I remember that. The Norway International Hotel. It's it's bad. Like every room is a dead person. Right. I remember that. I should tell Edward and Kay. These Japanese games sure are fun. They we, are we, fun. We, we need to play Echo Knights uh, soon. Yeah, that, and I want to play. One. I want to play Fatal Frame too. Yeah. Oh yeah, Fatal Frame for sure. That's on a bucket list for me. Yeah, I think we are getting. Never played it. Oh yeah, me neither. I, I want to play all of them. I'm glad you mentioned that. Yeah. The secret to Scissor Man. Yes, there is a castle in England called the Barrows Castle. The Barrows Castle used to wait. The Barrows family, the castle used to live there. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Is that where Scissor Man is from? So Helen and I are going to England to investigate the castle. You are? Is that a good idea? Well, it may be dangerous, but I'll go with you, Jennifer. What? Edward, don't be ridiculous. But if we don't do something, he'll probably kill us too. Did you notice that the scissor man didn't attack us when we found the boy? Uh -huh. hmm, I wonder. May Awfully I go with you, suspicious. Jennifer? <laughs> okay, I'll tell Helen. Oh, dear. It's very suspicious. <laughs> All right, go to the Oslo Weekly newspaper. I haven't died yet. Nope. We've I, done very good. I died in the other version like 20 times. Oh, yeah. Jennifer, it seems Mr. Sullivan was killed by a scissor man in the library with a candlestick. I know. Helen was there, too. Uh, no, he wasn't killed by scissor man. He stuck his head out and got decapitated by the clock. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Nolan, we found a clue. Really? Yes, there is a castle in England called the Barrows Castle. And we now know where it is the Barrow's castle that must be that must be where scissor man is from oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> yes that's right okay we'll go too right tim the story is very repetitive yeah this will make one yeah i know dude you don't mind do you jennifer of course not i grew up with this so it doesn't bother me <laughs> i'd feel safer if you did come along all right then we'll go and ask our boss it has a certain charm to it, though. It does, yeah. And I looked up, there are four Clock Tower games. And oh, the fourth cool. one is actually Capcom. Clock Tower 3, right? No, fourth. I thought 3 was a Capcom. No, I just looked it up. Oh. Uh, police Station. Uh, police Station, right there. I wonder if the inspector is in. Then you have that spiritual successor with the dog in the uh, haunting grounds. That's technically a clock, clock, clock tower game. Oh, really? Yeah. Was that the one you said was pervy? Yeah, a little bit. Hi, Jennifer. <laughs> I, heard, I heard Scissorman's back. The media's going to jump all over it again. I want to beat it for the first time with you. I've never beaten it before. Cool. This indeed is an interesting case. I would love to see the Scissorman. And it's like ex expensive. The PS2 copy, it's crazy. It was one of the most expensive PS2 games out there. Jeez. Like $700 to $1,000. Oh, my gosh. Or more. <laughs> it's been rare. It's stupid. It was. Inspector Gotts, I'm going to England. It's assistant inspector. Oh, my God, this guy. Are you going there to study? <laughs> oh, my God. No, not really. There's a castle called the Barrow's Castle in England. It's where Scissor Man's it's from. It's where Scissor Man's <laughs> from. It's in England. It's a castle. It's called Barrow's Castle. If I go there, maybe I'll be able to learn 
something about Scissor Man. That's where he's from. He's from Barrow's Castle in England. The Barrow's Castle. So that's where the Barrow's Castle is from. Is used to live before. That is where Scissor Man lives in integrate in Norway. Yes, that's right. He's from England. I think so. He lives in a castle. <laughs> that sounds rather interesting. Hmm. I will accompany you as well. Where is Scissor Man from again? <laughs> Hold on a second, Professor. Wait, what? You too. It's going too fast. You're an important <laughs> witness in this case. You can't just trapeze off like that. Trapes. Trapes. Trapeze. <laughs> then come with us. Huh? <laughs> there must be some reason as to why the murderer disguises himself as Scissor Man. He's from England. <laughs> the Barrow's Castle. The Barrow's Castle. He might learn. We might learn what by investigating the Barrow's history. Oh, God. At the Barrow's Castle oh, in England. In England. Hmm. 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 All right, Professor. Ah, what the hell is that all about? I'll go. <laughs> but I, I'm going to what I want to say to my boss. No need to worry. You will be a hero if the case is solved. As long as I ain't made a goat. Right. 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 <laughs> as long as you're not made a goat. As long as you're not made a goat. <laughs> the University Research Building. What does that even mean? I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to be made a goat. Me that sounds either. awful. That sounds awful. <laughs> no, thank you. Hi, Jennifer. I was just checking the number of the people going to the Barrow's Castle. We're all going to die. We're all going to die. Not a total of ten people. <laughs> I'm a bit concerned that some of them think this is... Ten people died in the original game. This is going to be a picnic. Remember? Uh-huh. Oh, well. We'll leave on the first flight in the morning. It's like someone's trying to recreate the first game. I've already arranged for a rental car. Like a, you know, copycat killer. Right. I hope we can find a way to destroy him, Jennifer. Me too. Oh, cool. I like the map. Me too. I don't remember that. Do you remember that? It says Netherland instead of Netherlands. Oh. That's weird. I guess, you know, it's kind of close. It's close. They, they say Netherland, like N-E-D. Nederland, Nederland, yeah. Nederland. But that's not what that said. Hmm, let's camp here. <laughs> Strange, where is Jennifer? I go pee. <laughs> Peach, have you seen Harris and Edward? Kay's looking all over for them, but she can't find them anywhere. Oh no. Jennifer is missing too. Are we playing as Helen now? Hmm. They can't be missing. The castle, hurry. I guess we are playing Helen now. Interesting. So we kind of uh, swapped characters here midway through by doing the statue thing. So this is going to be different for us. It might be, yeah. That's kind of cool, though. It kind of makes sense. <laughs> oh, never mind. Now we play as her again, I guess. Oh, okay. Don't be afraid, Jennifer. It's me, Harris. Oh. Harris? Harris is nuts. Poor girl. Don't worry. I'll help you now. Where are we? Where is everyone? What's that costume? <laughs> the text yeah, is so slow. Catch up there. Even for them. He told me. He told me that if I kidnap you, he will give you to me. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, dude. That's not. He that's creepy. He's a weirdo. And kill people. <laughs> and kill people. people. To kill people. To dress up as Scissor Man. Yeah. To kill people. <laughs> Oh. But I can't kill people now. Go to the door on your left. That is not your left. To kill people. Now go to the door on your left. The castle's a little bit more confusing, but still not as bad as the old version. Yeah, you should be in a dressing room. Okay, hide behind the clothes. I remember doing that. Dude, Jennifer's like... She has like the worst luck, like Sydney from Scream. I know, right? She just gets attacked nonstop. And she's in the third one. I feel really bad for her. Jennifer never gets a break. Nope. 
To kill people. All right, go back in the dressing room. No, oh, where we came from? Yeah. Oh, weird. There should be a key. Kind of defeats in logic. The clothes rack. That we just pushed over. I know. <laughs> he, he vanishes like the Jason. Mm hmm. Priest robes. The color is what? Red? Faded. Faded? Oh. There is something in the pocket. You have now have the stair key. And look at the statue. Oh, it already did. Okay. Oh, it's bleeding. That's creepy. Creepy. Done? Leaf. It's time to make like a tree. Make like a tree and get out of here. Get out of here. It's leave. <laughs> you sound like an idiot when you say it like that. <laughs> First door on your right. That was our, that was um on TV today at my parents' house. Back to the future. This should be the library. Okay, good. Um, There's three. Look at what appears to be a ladder. I don't see. Oh, way back. Do you, do you see it's like leaning up against the wall over to your right? See oh, I see. Ladder? I see. I see it. Yeah. It's kind of blended into the wall. It did though. blend into the wall. I would have missed that. What's this? A note is stuck between the books. It is written in a foreign language. Maybe Helen or Professor Barton can read it. Okay, leaf. You now have the foreign note. There doesn't seem to be anything unique. Let's get out of here. Run. Last door on the right. We're like speed running this game. <laughs> well, it's like it's like Mondays. It's kind of like Sunday night for me. I have to work tomorrow, so I want let's just let's beat it. Yeah. A chapel. It looks different from the ones I know. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Okay. On the wall at the back is a panel with stars on it. Pick it up. Oh, I see that. Ooh, cool. Nice atmosphere. That is cool. There's a copper plate on the wall. Don't you have to like write that down? What's in the plate? Oh, I remember that. Like the sun and moon at the take bottom a, take and a star on top. Your phone. Sure. So I remember I was going to do that. Before. I remember that, yeah. So the order might change. Okay. Ready? Uh, go through the door on the right. Over here? Yeah. Is it a door? Oh, yeah, that's a it door. says it is. That's not a door. Maybe I mean the one back there in the back. Maybe. Uh, I don't think that's a door. You should be in the torture chamber if it's the right spot. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, that stench. See, every room has a dead person in it, I swear. Right? Like all ten people. Jennifer, you're still alive. Inspector Gott, thank heaven, you're all right. <laughs> it's assistant, Inspector Oh, my, God. Oh my gosh, this guy. Oh. Inspector Gott. <laughs> she still said it wrong. And look she did. Uh, pick up the white candle off the ground. Everyone just ignores him. Inspector. Anyway, <laughs> oh my god. Dude, just, I'm going to kill just you. Just let it go, dude. I'm going to let you die if you keep saying that. <laughs> okay, I'll go if you stop saying that. <laughs> I'm going I'm to pick up the mozzarella cheese stick down here. Okay. okay. On the left Watch hand candle. wall. Oh, sorry. Okay. There should be something black. It's a keyhole. Oh. Use your stair key. Right here? Yeah. A keyhole. A keyhole. In the middle of the wall. Uh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, we should play D2. D is also pretty fun. It's like it an hour and a half. It's, it's short. A staircase. I wonder where it leads. Go up the stairs. <laughs> Up the stairs. Up the stairs. It says, whatever you do, do not look at the painting on the wall. It makes Scissor Man come out. Oh, God. <laughs> like the last game, you clicked on a mirror and like a, the hand like reached out and strangles you to death. I know, I mean, it's dude. It's game over. All right. Um, exit the room. This room doesn't look like any of the others. Yeah, don't, don't click on anything. Just leave. Just leave. Oh, God. Dangerous room. He's Just coming, leave. He's coming anyways. He got triggered no matter what. First door on your left. Right back there, yep. 
We're gonna have to hide. Yeah, there's a hiding spot in there. If you oh can just get in, get in, get in. You must have been in the fireplace or something. Under the red bed. Under the red hey, bed. Hey, just like in the first one, there was a, a red bed and a yellow bed. Remember? Without a parrot With that the bird. attacks you, it's too low to hide under. I thought you said you can hide under. It. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna hide. You can't see me. <laughs> you can't see me. <laughs> That's weird. That is weird. Maybe Helen can hide under it or something. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, go back in that room. But what if he? What if he's still in there? <laughs> cool castle. It is cool. Okay, look at the nightstand in between the two beds. Reminds me of a Tecmo's Deception too. We need to play that game someday. It's really good. Oh, a mouse. <laughs> okay, follow the mouse and look um, and at the table that the mouse went under. Uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Follow the mouse, of course. Just like Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> I think that mouse ran in here. Ah. There's a small hole in the wall behind the table. A key. There you go. You now have the library key. Leave the room. Yeah, in the first one, like, a parrot literally can kill you. Yeah. And a hand in the mirror. A hand in the mirror. That game's just out to get you. Okay, go downstairs. A lot easier to navigate here, too. Mm-hmm. And the rooms aren't randomized. That's a plus. Okay, the door on the left closest to the front of your screen. Should be that one. No, right? no, no. Like left, 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 left. Oh, over here. Over there. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> left. Go through the diamond door. I remember playing as Helen more than Jennifer. I must have not talked to that guy in the PlayStation or something at the first of the game when I was a kid. You must have. Okay, there should be a courtyard. Professor Barton should be there. Oh, he can probably read that note. It's you, Jennifer. Professor Barton? <laughs> Professor Barton? Are you all right? I'm not injured. This is an extremely important experience for me. Really? Because here I am at the site of the murders. A very, very intriguing situation. Okay. <laughs> red alert. That's 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 a that's mm, a red flag. Yep. Okay, use hmm. the note on him. Oh, Professor Barton, I found something I would like you to look at. <laughs> what does this say? You're so sweet. <laughs> hmm. It is in Latin. Drink your oval team. Drink your oval team. <laughs> Speak friend and enter. <laughs> friend. <laughs> Below that is written. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Hey. What does it mean? You say shit. That's <laughs> what I heard. <laughs> it means to open a door, just as it says. But it doesn't say which door. door. Hmm, a door. Okay. Go back through the door you came in. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about that guy. He's enjoying this a little bit too much. A little too much. Go through the first door on your left. We got lost here a little bit the first time we played the game. Mm-hmm. Go through the green door. It seems like you have a look green. Seems like you have a really better. This guide, guide seems better. Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I might. That Is might, that green? Uh, yeah, I guess it could be greenish. Kind of brown though. We're looking for a kitchen. Guess we'll find out here. Yeah. Is that the kitchen? I guess that guy's colorblind. Okay. It looks kitcheny to me. Kitcheny. Go through the door on the left side of the room. 
Maybe his uh, TV CRT screen had a the colors were off. <laughs> Maybe. A bit. Okay, you should be in the pantry. Look at the floor tile in the middle of the room. The one that makes a weird sound when you walk on it. Yeah, it's it's a it's probably a door. They're loose. Look at the shelves on the left, and there should be a lever. There's something back there that looks like a switch. There we go. Down the hole. Down the hole. <laughs> oh, cool. It says save the game right here. Can you do that on the fly? Um, yeah. Okay, yeah. It recommends saving because things can go wrong right here. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. uh, that's not good. I like that font. Okay, yeah. It's random right here. You can either see Helen or Scissor Man. Um, okay. Okay. Do you go back there? Okay, attempt to go up the ladder. You don't go, okay, go up the ladder, okay. Attempt, yeah. Attempt. Something just made a noise. Okay. Okay, go back there to find out what the noise is, like back behind the wine. Like over here? Yeah. It sounds like it came behind here. Beth. Beth. Okay, good. Jennifer, it's you. Are you hurt? Is it random? No, I'm all right. Yes. It says if you don't find it's Beth, if it's Scissor Man in that game. corner instead, reload your game and try again. Oh, wow. <laughs> that sucks. It's like 50-50. <laughs> that really sucks. <laughs> Does it ruin your game? You won't get the A ending. Really? Yeah. It's based on a, ro a dice roll. Yeah. That's um, crazy. Talk to Beth again, and she should give you a mansion key. Is that because of the, you need the key? Is that why? Yeah. We can't get upstairs anymore. Why would we want to go upstairs? <laughs> because we might be able to find a way out of here. If it's Scissor Man instead, you come back down here and her body's out. in one of the barrels and you can't get the key. Oh. <laughs> but if you really want to go, take this key. That would suck. That would I suck. A little while ago. I don't know what it opens, but it'll probably open something in this mansion. You now have mansion key. Yay. Now back up the ladder. We'll just leave her. She'll be fine. Yeah, she'll be all right. <laughs> she had a 50-50 and she made it. She made it. Good job. Everyone's been alive so far. Knock yeah, on wood. we're doing good. Leave the pantry. I think you can hide in that box right there. If I remember right. Leave the kitchen. Who wrote the guy did a really good job. Really good job. Big clock. Uh, kudos. I have only I have only used this one guide. I've got like two pulled up, but I've only had to use That's this one. That's good for us. Usually we have to use like three or four. Yes. So kudos to the guy who wrote that. You're, yes. You're, you're the man. <laughs> like probably 20 years ago. Go through the door on the right. I thought I was. I only, recommended this guide. It was really good. I thought I was the only clock tower fan out there. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, I know, everyone I talk to either don't like the game or they don't know about it. It's a really good game. It is really good. Okay. You should be back in the first floor back hallway. Go in that green door. That's kind of brown. Mm -hmm. It's kind of brown, it's but okay. okay. It's green to him, and that's okay. And that's okay. It's green does too. Huh? <laughs> you should be in the servant's bedroom. Yep. Okay. Lift the bed clothes from the bed to find a copper book. Oh. There's a book in the bed. A large book. <laughs> the cover is made of copper. You now have the copper book. <laughs> Leave the room. Oh shit, he's coming. Should I hide in here? Uh, you can. Uh, I, in the wardrobe. Should I hide in there? I should. Yeah. Fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. <laughs> he's coming for me. A weirdo. A weirdo. In the wardrobe. In the wardrobe. 
Yeah, no, no, get in there. Yeah, we knew. I can't hide in there. What? What do you mean you can't hide in there? Oh, I said you could. Oh, there we go. Maybe it's random. Oh, shit. I can't fit under there. Oh, crap. Click on the wardrobe when he's in there. Panic, panic, panic. Right, I'm panicking. There we go. Get out of here. Nice. Get out. Okay, good job. I, I, and where, where to? The barred door to the right. And use your mansion key. The barred? The the bars. Oh, he's still chasing me, man. I gotta get out of here. Time to lose him first. Okay. Let's see if we can hide somewhere else. Oh, jeez. And not get too lost. In I hope you find the kitchen. Okay, perfect. Um, you can use that pot on the stove to hurt Scissor Man. Perfect. <laughs> I got a present for you, Scissor Man. Get ready. <laughs> nice. Yeah, this, this game's a lot better than the, the original. It is. Original's cool, but they really... Uh, That's awesome. They learned a lot from the first one. Mm-hmm. I hope the third one's fun. I've never played it before. And the fourth one. I'm excited to play I, all four. I haven't played them. Or the uh, one with the hunting ground. Yeah. Okay, examine uh, the bars, and it said you should automatically use the mansion key. Oh, okay. That's cool. Cool. It worked. Okay, upstairs or... Okay, do not go up the stairs. Oh, okay. Do not go upstairs. Gotcha. Go towards the door on the far right and use the oil can. That's what I told you. You can't beat the game the good way. You won't get the A, B, or C yeah. ending if you don't have the if oil you didn't can. you have the freaking oil can from the first scenario. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> it worked. Cool. Uh, Look in the coffin, naturally. But there's probably a scissor man in there. Whoa. The hell kind of bats are those? Do it again? or? That's not the coffin. That's a chest. The coffin oh. is that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> my bad. I don't know my coffin or my chest. <laughs> She's kind of freaking out. The cursor's red. Scissor man. A mummified scissor man. The corpse looks very old. A key. You now have the box key. Okay. Um, look at the lower part of the shelves to find a rope. This room's important. Very. A rope. Okay. I wonder why the rope and candle are together. You now have the rope. Use the rope on that door where the bats came from. Yeah, she's kind of freaking out still. It's still in red. Whatever that means. Panicky, I guess. Probably. Okay. Okay. Now open the chest again. Oh, so the bats won't freak her out again. Mm-hmm. It's locked. Oh, use your box key. Oh, okay. From over there. Oh, there we go. I got a lot of stuff in my inventory. Hey, Whoa, she's that? alive too. What the hell is Helen in there? <laughs> the heck's going on here? Are you all right? If you don't find her, she yes, dies. So, oh. good job. Head hurts a little. Wow. Yeah, but my head hurts a little. <laughs> Man, you're stuffed in a treasure chest. Is there a <laughs> Leave the room. Out of here? <laughs> I don't know. But I do know one thing. I want to see if she has any dialogue. If we don't kill Scissor Man, He'll kill us whether we get out of here or not. Yeah, we saw that in the first one. Mm -hmm. He chased us down for three days when we uh, got the car. <laughs> he mm -hmm. died three days later. <sighs> Jennifer, there must be a way to destroy him in this mansion. And I must find it. Okay, so leave. Awesome. Everyone has been alive so far. We have done really, really good. 
Well, the, that bad dude died. Harrison or Harold or what's his name? Harris. Oh, yeah. Harris. That's true. Go upstairs. But he was kind of bad, so. He was a hired killer. Kind of a, you know, so. Yeah. No loss there. Uh, go through the door. It was a conspiracy. So someone else is involved, too. First door. Your guy's just this kicking ass. This is a really ass. good guy. No shit. Like, like, you're just, you're just like tearing right through this. Yes. You should be in a balcony. Yep. Perfect. Go to the other door. Oh, God. We're being chased. Not the time to be chased. It's locked. The door won't open. Quickly run out to the right side of the balcony. There are two windows that you can reach. Click on the gap in the railing. Oh, God. And you should be able to climb through a window. Oh, God. Good job. Whoa. Nice. Talk to Nolan. Aw, poor Nolan. Jennifer. Nolan, you're alive. Where is everyone? Dude, I'm pretty sure when we played this last time, like, everybody was dead. Oh, everyone died. <laughs> and everyone scattered. Oh. Nolan, you've hurt your leg. Just a cut. I'll be all right if I rest. <laughs> Nolan, I'll go. By yourself? I'll come back after I've found and killed him. That's sad. Oh, that is sad. Wow. Game just got dark. Uh, off goes his head, bright red. Wow. Jeez. What was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Jennifer's not too? very bright. <laughs> <laughs> you saw them too? I'm not going crazy. I've seen them a few times already. They are probably the ghosts of the children killed here. This room is called the Crypt of Sorrow. Ooh. So many. It's sad. It is sad. All right, go through that room back there. Yep. Over the kids' bones. Creepy. All the way to the right, through the door on the left of the blacked out door. Right here, I think. Yes. You should be in the study. It worked. Go through the door on the left. Cool room. Yeah. Um, examine a box on top of one of the bookcases. It's kind of hard to see. Or yeah, you can't, it says there's a creepy camera angle. You really can't see it. Just try to find a box on top of the bookcase, like way on top. Books on alchemy. They are in many different languages. Okay. Top. I'm looking up here. Oh, there, there we go. That's kind of hard to find. Yeah. A box is on the bookshelf. I can't reach it. Now click on the step ladder. Got it. An old lambskin parchment. The Barrows family genealogy. What is this mark? Someone has been marked in red. Someone has... Oh, wait, what? The 13th generation Barrows, Quentin Barrows. It says, traitor. You now have genealogy. Dang. Okay. Leave? That's it? Uh-huh. There's a lot of crap you have to do in the third act. Go through the door on the right. Should be getting close to being done here. Mm -hmm. I don't remember much more after this. 
go through the blacked out door on the right. Okay, go oh. down to the first floor. Hey, we're back to the beginning. And go to the back left room. Should be a sitting room. Um, examine the portraits on the back wall until you find Quentin's. That's cool. Did we do this last time? Oh, you already found it. He is the 13th generation. I don't remember doing this one. Me neither. A note is stuck in the back side of the portrait. It's hard to read, but it says, Danger is near. I've hidden the map in the library. I hope people in a later time may discover the door and expel the devil children from this world. Quentin Burroughs. Hmm. That's why he's a traitor. Back the way you came? Oh, crap. I was just making sure there was something else there. So now that she knows that, she'll look in that area. Mm -hmm. So back, back to the left door? Yeah. Okay, sorry. Just wanted to make sure. Do, 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 do. Here we go. <laughs> Upstairs. Uh, I'm getting a lot of... Uh, yeah, Tecmo's Deception Castle the Dam vibes from this place. Really? It's really cool. Furthest door to the right. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, should be that one. Yep. What? It smells like something is burning. Go check the fireplace. Uh-oh. His butt's on Aww. fire. Oh, no. Tim. <laughs> Poor Tim. His butt's on fire. Aww. Okay, there should be matches on the floor by the table. Are we going to light him on fire? No, he, he already died in the fire. Oh, poor guy. The camera's on the floor. It's, it's what Tim was using. Poor Tim. There are some matches on the floor. You now have the matches. Tim is probably never going to make it. Probably not. All right, get, leave. Leave and come back? N no, just leave. Okay. Um, the far left door. The, the blacked out door? Yeah. Or the one on the first floor? Uh, no, up there. First door. Remember the last guy we used? It was like kind of misleading. Very. We got lost a lot here in the castle. Look at the fireplace. Oh, okay. Use the matches on that. I can't see anything. It's too dark. Okay, use your matches on the candle on the desk. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah. Man, it took me forever to figure this out without a guide. <laughs> a candlestick <laughs> holder. Wax has been dripped here and there. Oh, it, it didn't work. Let's try again. No. That didn't work. Do I need to put a candlestick on it first? I'm sorry. Use your candle, then the matches. Okay. I, I skipped a line. It oh, no said problem. it. I just forgot. We figured it out on our own. Yep. I was like, wait a second. No candle, no fire. <laughs> no candle, no fire. <laughs> Makes sense. Something is stuck on the back. This looks like a sketch on the mansion. There seems to be a passage drawn under the fountain. You now have mansion map. Nice. Ooh. Mansion map. Left door. That might be the portal to the uh, passage to the underground we should be in the library okay look at the scratch marks on the floor oh yeah i remember this i kind of yeah. remember that too yeah. Yeah. Uh, i'm trying to look at it but oh there it goes there it goes it took a minute there are scratch marks on the floor being dragged across it okay about something heavy so drag use it. the copper book on the hole in the bookcase. Oh crap. 
being chased, dude. Oh no. Oh crap. Oh no. That was a bad spot. Bad place for him to come attack yeah, me. Yeah, it was. I don't know what spot you're talking about. Is there a place in here? No, that doesn't go in there. Yeah. I mean, is there a place in here I, I can do something? Uh, I don't think I don't, so. I don't see anything. What a butthead. I know, because now you're going to have to go all the way back to the library in a second. Oh, man. If you can go through the green door to get to the kitchen, you, there's another skillet on the on the far side that you can hit him with. I don't, I don't know if there's... It's close to us. I don't remember either. I'll see if there's something in here we can use. Oh crap. Oh. Bad, bad timing from him. Can I do the same thing again? You can try. It's not working this time. Oh crap. Oh crap indeed. <laughs> oh no. Oh. oh. Let's try again. <laughs> Scratch marks. Okay. Copper book. Let's try that. Aha. Okay, good. Aha. Yeah, go through that new Get door. Get me out of here before he shows up again. That's right. Oh. Okay. Oh, I remember. We wrote this down. Remember? What, what, hold on. I'm reading. Okay, save your game. If you go in the wrong hole, you'll die, and it's random. Oh, God. I thought it's based on it's what the. It's based the, on your painting. Yeah, we took a picture your of plate. it. Your plate, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Okay. One of the passages should have the image of a star over it. No, oh, I didn't mean to do that. There should be two dark marks and one lighter mark. Okay, yeah. The lighter one should correspond with where this star is above the holes. See if you go down the hole that course Okay. I say the middle one. I guess we'll find out. I saved it, so. A drawing of the stars. Um I guess just go down there, I guess. It's too dark, I can't see anything. One is a candle. We're getting close to the end. Okay, we did the right one. Cool. Go through the door. Okay, cool. We're almost there. Home stretch. Pick up the dagger on the floor. Of course. A dagger. A dagger with symbols carved in it. You now have dagger. Oh, okay. shit. Go back the way you entered. It's a mummy. What the hell? Climb the ladder. Fast, fast. Fast, fast. Are we done down here? Yes. Uh -huh. You just needed the dagger. Okay, I thought this was the way out of here. Not yet, I guess. Go to the left. Go to the door on the right. You're better than Morpheus from the Matrix. <laughs> door on the right. Blacked out door. Back left door on the first floor. So the one out there, I think. Yeah. Uh, door on the right. In we go. Diamond door. 
<laughs> God. Can you imagine doing it without a guide? No. Man, I'd be lost. I'd give up. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it before, man. I beat it without a guide when I was a kid. Okay. Lots of run around aimlessly. On the right of the fountain is some vines. Click on the second vine. There might be the valve to drain the fountain. <laughs> cool. Cool. Click on the fountain. The water in the fountain drains away. Oh, neat. Ooh, it's a secret <laughs> passage. Nice. This is what I was thinking. I wish you wore something cute to the, you know, the castle of the damned. That's right. <laughs> Go through the blue door. Oh, jeez. Ooh. I think the girls have been in the kitchen for about two hours. Mm hmm. They've, they've been making bracelets. Bracelets? Oh, okay. Uh oh. What do? Talk to Scissor Man. So hey, Scissor Man. It was you, Edward. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the secret is finally out, Jennifer. Uh oh. But my name isn't Edward, it's Dan. That was one of the twins. Yep. You don't mean. No! The subtitles are going too fast. So you remember me now. Jennifer! Oh god. Oh, no one. Come here, you scissor fingered little grunt. <laughs> <laughs> Little runt. Okay, use your statue on that. Got it. Just like from the first one. Yeah, yeah. The statue fit on the altar. Yep. Equip your dagger as soon as it lets you. Open the door and show me the way. Without the dagger, you die, huh? Uh, Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Use it on Scissor Man. Click, I'm, click, click. I'm trying. <laughs> oh, there we go. Nice. You little runt. Awesome. You got ending A, the best ending. Nice. Hell yeah, man. That was a lot of stuff you have to do to get that. Death Dagger, you've probably been screwed right there. Scissor Man died and everyone lived except Tim the Cameraman. <laughs> yeah, his butt was on fire. <laughs> and Harris. And Harris, The yeah. freak. The weirdo. The weirdo. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. Thank you for guiding me through it. Mm -hmm. Hey, I only need one guide, which is crazy for these old games. That's really good. I think it's been only a night. Are we going to die like this? Uh, don't worry. I'm sure Helen will rescue us. You know, you're tough. If you didn't fear from the box, she probably wouldn't have rescued you. <laughs> right? You're just weak. Oh. <laughs> There is eight different endings in this game. Oh my god. Four for Helen, four for Jennifer. There's a lot of replayability, I yeah. guess. Yeah, we got Jennifer A. Nice. Maybe next time we'll play, we'll play Helen. Yep. Next year. <laughs> oh, actually, um, huh? there's another one. Yeah, there's... 
there's ten endings then. Ten? Yeah. There's Whoa. five for each. Wow. So like the best all the way to worst. Yeah. I'm sure they all kind of end the same way though. Yeah, like in, in Jennifer's ending number five, you don't get the statue or anything. Yeah. Um, even during the prologue. And so she just sits in her bedroom writing in her diary at the end and says, there's no further clues. The mystery can never be solved. Oh, ouch. That sucks. <laughs> and dies three days later, huh? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> like in the first one, the first bad ending we got, we got in the car and just took off. And then and she's like, but what about everybody else? Yeah. And he's like, no, just get in the car. Just get in the car. Because <laughs> we, we didn't figure out that the, the, the Super Nintendo had a different puzzle than the PS1 port. It was slightly different. <laughs> and we didn't know that. But we went back and beat it the right way. Yeah, cool game. Yeah, it was cool. Marie Roberts wrote this guide in 2009, and she did a great job. <laughs> 2009, huh? The game came out in the 90s, so they must have just been a big fan. Went back and said, you know what? There's like no guide for this game. I'm gonna make a guide. Right, a good one. A good one. Oh, good job there, Mary. Marie. <laughs> Hats off to you. You saved our butts. <laughs> this is a tough game to play. Yeah. Um, this game came out in 96. Yeah. It says 96, or, and sometimes it says 97. Yeah, I think it was 97, I thought. Maybe Japan, maybe Japan got it earlier. I played it, dude, like, when it first came out. Man, I was like 12 years old. And I don't know if I ever got the good ending. Yeah, I, 97. Japan must have just got it earlier. Yeah. Yeah. But I had fun. Maybe maybe one day we'll play the third one. I don't know when that will be, but oh, definitely. It came out in two thousand and three. Yeah. In the US. I think we have it. Cool. I know we have haunting grounds. I really, really, really want to play that. Mm-hmm. It looks really complicated, so it's like I need someone to help me. Because I don't I don't like to play a game and read the guy at the same time. I need, I need Oh some, gosh, no. I, I love when you help me. I do there. too. It's a lot funner for me. Yeah. It's assistant inspector. Assistant inspector. <laughs> So you never played Clock Tower 3? No, never have. Cool. It's Maybe. PS2. Yeah. I think they're all on PS2 now, including Haunting Grounds. So that, that should be a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. The same girl that wrote the guide for Clock Tower 2 wrote the guide for Clock Tower 3. So I'll use wow. hers. Must be a huge fan. She must be a huge fan. She, like, thanked her fiancé at the end for, like, doing all the scenarios with her and having patience. <laughs> you have to have a lot of patience. Could you imagine the hours they probably spent, like, saving the game and experimenting? And right? It's... She made a few spelling mistakes, but that's okay. Totally worth it. <laughs> that's fine. I love when someone just does that for fun. With yeah. no no income from it, I've always liked to support Game Facts more than just a clickbait article website like IGN or something. Oh, no yeah, no me offense too. to them, but I prefer supporting the community. And a lot of times, someone who really generally loves the game is mm -hmm. going to spend way more time than just some you know fast made article. Oh yeah. Some of our best like Final Fantasy guys were written just by some dude. Mm-hmm. It's true. Like Absolute Steve. He had the best seven, eight, and nine guides I ever f followed. 
covered everything, all <laughs> the bases. The guy probably spent an enormous amount of time. Oh, I'm sure. Writing that guide. Yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine how long that that's, blows my mind. By human. I don't know if they're even around anymore. Human. Hey. Hey. Survivor 6. Hey, not bad. Awesome. We did pretty dang good. Yes, we did. All thanks to our guide writer, Marie. Or Mary. Marie. Marie. Yeah. Clock Tower. Well, that was fun. That was thanks fun. Thanks for watching. Yes. <laughs>